dull day. We are stuck on the boat today and tomorrow. We have watched two movies so far. Beer Fest and Hidden Figures. Two very different movies. Yeah, just kind of boring today. Welcome to another episode of Johnny in the Kitchen in a Boat. <laughs> today we are making... Today we're having French toast and home fries. Uh, I think they're Idaho potatoes. Um, regular russet, maybe, I believe. <laughs> and we're having honey wheat bread with French toast. How is it? This is amazing. <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you, Johnny. So when you, ha when you have a, a private chef aboard, you don't have boring meals at all. <laughs> and I'm not toting for myself, I'm just saying. I enjoy food. <laughs> ran out of gas and uh, luckily the cruise ship island yeah. was able to sell us some gallons of fuel so we could keep the generator running and the dinghy going. Getting our weather info. The frustrating thing is that the weather's not letting up, and we are in the Bahamas, but we can't see them. Uh, mainly because all the islands around us seem beautiful, but as soon as we get to them, there's a big no trespassing sign, because they're all privately owned. So, we're kind of trapped. It's a good protected anchorage. Uh, it's still pretty rocky, but we can't really go anywhere. <laughs> This is day number four, that three or four? Too many. This is day number too many, that we are stuck here because of weather. And without civilization around us, we really need SIM cards to get contact to the outside world. So Johnny is going to dinghy the five miles to civilization. We've called the SIM card place. He's gonna pick him up for us. And he is preparing for the worst. Although we hope that it'll be fine. <laughs> Herbie was opposed to the idea of anybody leaving in such bad conditions, but Johnny was pretty adamant about wanting to get off the boat. So he braved the five mile trek to land and it took him three and a half hours. He wasn't able to return until the next day. We're a little nervous right now because it's 9.30 at night. It's weird, really, really windy, and we haven't heard from Johnny since before the sun went down. So he went to shore at about one o'clock, and he, it took him about three and a half hours to make the five mile trek because it's so rough right now. So he made it to shore, made it, you know, got the SIM cards, all that mess, and we haven't heard from him since. So we're kind of worried, like, if something happened to him while he was trying to come back to the boat, or, or what, I, like, we don't know. So we're kind of just waiting to see if he turns up in the morning, or, or what, like, we, we don't have a dinghy now, so we can't really go out and search for him. So it's a little stressful, so hopefully all is well. In the meantime, we just, all we can do is wait. Wait a minute. Oh, is this our phone number? Yeah. Yeah. That's your Bahamian phone number. Sweet. So Johnny is back from his land uh -huh. venture. <laughs> it's quite a trip. It's quite a trip. And uh, Herbie is now putting our SIM card into his phone to see if it works. Yeah. It only took a full day. Yeah. Dental equipment comes in handy for many things. And, um... Hopefully this will allow us to upload videos for you guys much more frequently. So we're excited about that prospect. Okay, let's see. Yeah, if you're going overseas, get an unlocked phone. That way you can swap. 
swap out some cards. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try this patch because I can't stop puking. And we're anchored. <laughs> They're not cheap, so I'm trying it now rather than at sea so that we know what kind of side effects I'll get. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll see. Intense winds we've been having for the past five days now, they're finally clocking around to the north, which means instead of blowing from the east, now they're coming at us from the north. The reason this is good is it means the storm is finally passing us. So tomorrow it's supposed to calm down, and then the winds will be blowing out of the south, and when that happens we're going to go out the inlet and go to somewhere nice. Still salty. It's getting better. We just gotta wait for the salt to get rinsed off before we can open the tanks up. It's May 5th. It's about 7 a.m. Herbie just pulled up the hook. We've been stranded in this, well, kind of pinned down with the wind in this one spot. But uh, how do you feel? about pulling up the hook today. So awesome, we've been trapped here and now we're finally able to move. So, so that's a Cinco de Mayo. Our plan is we're gonna go around this island and then anchor right in front of a beachfront bar restaurant thing. They got cheap beer and cheap food. So that's the plan. How's it going out here, Captain? Let's uh, hear a report. Yeah, so we're just coming along, tacking, close hauled. We got three and a half miles to go to our anchorage. Down goes the sail. Down goes Stan, the staysail. And then he's gonna run up and drop the hook. We're gonna go now move the boat closer to land so that we can go snorkeling and experience some island life. It's gonna be good.
are showered. We are clean. We are ready to go to this um, thing, party thing that they're Grill having on shore. Chill. Grill and chill, that's what it's called. We had the grill and chill, and then we, some of the people we've met were hanging out on their boat afterwards for uh, sundowners. <laughs> so. And they have a Morgan too, but it's very different from ours. It's a 72 oh, a center yeah. cockpit. Yeah. And a 71. 71, 1971. And a lot more roomy. Way Here's more roomy. <laughs> he is so playing dead right now. He's like, if I don't move, they won't see me. Okay, you're done. Oh, touch it. Oh. Come on. Last few days have been a whirlwind roller coaster. <laughs> All we do is just set it and then start wrapping. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.